Hello everybody, uh, sorry that this couldn't be a live tutorial on how to remove your x-axis carriage from your K40, but this is going to be basically just a brief explanation of what I did in order to get the laser carriage out. The first thing I did was jog the x-axis, <clears throat> all or the y-axis that carries the gantry, all the way up here to allow for the x-axis to be exposed to this hole here, open up the compartment, and unscrewed these two screws they're located right here and that allowed the idler pulley to just fall off into the machine I then removed the belt from this end of the pulley pulled it through the channel that's located here after that the carriage was free to just slide about on top so in order for me to remove that I removed the three screws from the top of the the uh, laser head mount that just removed from the whole entire assembly. This carriage was still connected here. In order to remove that, I just loosened these two <clears throat> Allen screws here, completely took them off. That allowed these wheels to just come off and the whole assembly just came off into the machine, exposing the internals of this, which if I can get it in focus, it is just a very simple clamping mechanism held together with one screw. I'll be removing this and replacing the belt. I did an inspection with the carriage off and I found that I was almost missing oh, two or three teeth throughout. They had just worn out so much for me engraving in the same uh, area of the machine all the time. So now is a good time to clean up everything while it's disassembled. As you notice there's a lot of corrosive or carbonized material on the outside of this. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with alcohol before I assemble everything back together. Uh, I hope you guys found this informative. If you have any other questions, uh, hit me up.